In the local education, the only school, school superintendent that Collierville school students have ever known is about to say so long. But Dr. John Atkins' time in education goes back a lot further. Try 40 years. The last five, of course, has been as head of the brand new Collierville district. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews sat down with Atkin one on one. When it comes to being superintendent of Collierville schools and remembering Dr. John Atkin, that might be what they remember him for. Collierville High is quite an achievement, but Dr. John Atkins says he wants to be remembered as somebody who made a difference in a student's life. I'm blessed to, to have ended up where I am out here in Collierville because this is, this is my home. I've lived here since 83. John Atkin was a teacher, a high school principal, an administrator. He also might have had the most difficult job of any educational expert in the country back eight years ago when he had to run the merge Memphis City and Shelby County school systems. At the time, it was the largest school merger of its kind in the country. Ask him his most difficult job, he'll tell you this was it. It would have to be the, the merger years as Shelby County School Superintendent because there was no, there was, you know, there was just really no end in sight. You know, you felt like you could go a couple of steps forward, a couple of steps back, and you had a lot of forces that were pushing from either side. Dr. Atkins says he still feels a bit of a sting when thinking of how he was never offered the job to be the superintendent of the new Shelby County school system. But things worked out, he said. Collierville was calling him to head up its new municipal school district. I wanted to do something for the community because it's been so good for me. And, and I hope now that we're at the end of, of this career in Collierville, you can say, well, one example is the big new high school. It always seems to come back to that high school. But a teacher will tell you nothing pleases them more than encountering somebody who was one of their students. John Atkins says he's seen a lot of kids succeed. Oh, I missed kids. Uh, I don't even know how to describe that. Atkins' retirement takes place on June 30th. In Collierville, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.